Hey guys, Shiggy here, right? Yeah, yeah, G unit. So after my session on Modern Warfare 2, I decided to go and call the Duty Ghost because Dowski told me to come on and he was really, really bored. So he texted me and said, you know what? Let's go and call the Duty Ghost and uh, let's let's race each other for chem strikes. I was like, you know, I was like, I was like, I was a bit, I was like, you know, meh at first I wasn't really bothered. You know, I don't particularly like this game and pubs and stuff, you know, because um, as I recently have noticed, it's not necessarily uh, gun on gun. It's more or less IMS and pile of ships on the floor, which gets most kills for play players these days in public matches. So I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of pub games anymore for Call of Duty Ghosts. But uh, yeah, so we decided to go on you know, a few games, got into Stonehaven, one of my worst maps in Call of Duty Ghosts. I completely, absolutely hate this map, but we had no choice, but we played it. And for some weird reason, after that awful, awful start you saw there, my first death, I, my aim was completely off. That flag, I think B flag was completely in my way there. Uh, and I died. I, I said to myself, I didn't really say to myself, but I, I thought, you know, I'm no way getting this on this map. Look at the state of this map. Freaking castle, castle walls, old looking, broken pile of shit, grass, moldy, blurry, gloomy, just horrible in general. It's just very boring, dull looking map. Uh, using the same class that I used as the first uh, for my first chemistry strike on Fright. Uh, this is full HD quality, by the way. I recorded this on Elgato instead of stream quality for my first chemistry strike. Uh, I was actually planning to record the live version for this. Unfortunately, the program or the software didn't work for me to record our voices. It was so funny because I was focusing so hard and my teammates were just screaming and shouting. But Darsky and Lukador, it was just, you know, it wasn't really going on a nice streak on this map. Uh, what I decided to do is just stick around the outskirts of the map as I was going on the streak. Slowly, I realized that I was on a 13 gun streak, and at that point, I started to uh, step up my gears a little bit more and play a bit, you know, play a bit passive. And that's the only sort of option you have for this game, and that is the unfortunate thing. You know, once I got, you know, sort of this chem strike when I got it, I wasn't particularly pleased with myself. I was like, Meh, yeah, that's that's, I guess that's nice, you know, 24 gun streak on this map. I would have never thought I'd get it, you know, ever on this map. But I guess you could sort of get out of the way from a list of the maps to get it on. But yeah, guys, you know, definitely, if you're planning to play this map and you don't want to die too much, don't go out in the open. You know, this map design is horrible. You know, if you go out in the open, you're going to get caught out by assault rifles. And yeah, there's going to be people that are going to say, yeah, this is boring. And I completely agree with you. This is completely boring in my eyes as well. Like, this, for example, is... is Pretty weird, I, I think personally. It's just like I see them spawning around B, you know, just outside the castle entrance there, where I'm ADSing right now, and they just keep trying to pop in, thinking that I'm, I'm going to contest B flag. But I played it smart, and in your eyes, you may think this is absolutely cheap, and I completely agree with you as well in that sense. But I didn't really have a choice. Now, if I if I went, oh my god, oh goodness me, that's bad. That's a bad cough. If I if I push to, if I what the fuck if I pushed into B right. Um, I would, have, I would have most likely died because they were all literally spawning there. So I'm gonna just get. I believe now I think it's 11. The 11. I'm currently on 11 kill streak, and you know I wasn't sure at this point if I was able to actually go for it. And here's the thing, guys. You know, if you're still playing Call of Duty Ghosts and you still haven't got a chem strike and you're playing this game purposely just to get a chem strike to get out of the way, if you're that sort of person, a diehard fan that wants to do that, just like me, that you wanted to do it at first. You know, I, I said that first, you know, I wanted to go for it and stop playing completely afterwards. But the thing about Call of Duty is that you you sort of, if, you, if you've grown with Call of Duty, you'd sort of have a lot of friends around you that play Call of Duty. So you're kind of having to sort of, you know, f not force yourself, but in a way you are having to deal with that with your friends, to play with your friends because, you know, they want you there or sort of, in a, you know, my situation right now, I didn't want to play the game, you know, I just, I, I came on because Dowski and Lukador wanted to play. So we played, you know, we just, it's just, an, I guess, a random thing to do just to challenge yourself who can get the cam strike first before each other, blah, blah, blah. But uh, in general, you know, it's kind of weird, to, weird thing to say that, uh, you know, I hate this game, but I'm still playing it. And uh, it is, it is completely weird. You know, just coming from Modern Warfare 2 just a few, you know, a few minutes ago and how fun that game was. If you saw that video earlier today and I come into this, you see a huge transition. And it is the main the main factor in this game is that the map itself, the, the map's completely different. If you notice, you know, in 6v16 deathmatch from Modern Warfare 2, how small the maps were and how easy it was to get kills between each kills, the interval for the time was so small. For this, for example, you know, I'm I'm trying my best to 
make this map into another map into a smaller map just by sticking to this particular side of the uh, area you know this this side of the map and sort of the side skirts on this castle bit and they were pretty much spawning around B so I knew that so I didn't want to take the risk of pushing into B I thought this was a pretty awesome spot to hold and now put it this way if if this was uh, me looking at this gameplay for the first time I would say uh, this person that's playing now would be camping and that that's 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 true I'm ca technically camping but this game doesn't give me the choice it doesn't give me the freedom to go out there and earn the kills because this game supports spawns behind the player who's trying their best who's put in 100 percent with their skill and effort to go in the long streaks so what this game does is that it forces you to play passive to get what you desire get what you're going for now of course this game you know this game type in particular isn't isn't built for long streaks it's built for obj work or you know objective play and whatnot but in the history of call of duty players don't usually do that players don't play pub games and take it seriously to go for wins that depends on what kind of player you are but in my personal opinion the stats itself for call of duty has already has always been me messed up and there's always been people cheating some way or another or boosting hack lobby so stats never really made sense to me even kate kill death ratio I, gi I don't give two shits about as well. Anyway, I was kind of fortunate that someone in my team managed to get an oracle. I was all up in their gaff. And I still consider that uh, cheap. I, I still feel deep down in my heart it was a cheap chem strike. You know, and I I'd completely agree. You know, I felt that it was a cheap, boring chem strike. But the it map itself and the map design ma made me have no other choice but to get it this way. Uh, you know, I do apologize for that. You know, if I was going balls deep and probably getting it. Like, you know, these YouTubers who try their best to get it in the quickest time possible. That's just not necessary. And it's just a dumb way to play if you're risking that. Because if you do end up dying one or two off, what are you going to say, you know? Is it, was it your fault? Of course it was your fault. Because you're pushing out there like a like an idiot trying to hope for an awesome YouTube gameplay. But in my eyes, I don't see the I sort of, you know, I don't see the skill involved in that. It's just more or less you're going with the luck. With uh, Sorry, positioning of other players and hoping they don't spawn behind you, and going with the, going with the luck is not the best thing to do in Call of Duty anymore, just because of the way this game is designed. Now here's another problem, right? Here's another problem I see with this chem strikes and stuff. If you were to call it in early, like I did, and I I was actually you know saying to myself after this, what the hell have I done? I can't see a single player in front of me, and it was such a struggle to even see that guy shooting at me. I'd only only. Now, the only point I realized he was there is when he started to shoot his bullets at me. And that was another stupid death. I think the guy had a sniper, I believe. But anyway, it was so it's stupid that when the chem strike goes off, it's like there's there's just it's just something in front of the screen is blocking everything. So it's all dark and it's disgusting, right? And every map has this, and I don't understand why they have this. It, it's it's not necessary in my eyes. Yes, I, I, you can say they've. They're trying to make it realistic as possible with the effects, but who cares about the effects? Let us experience the game, and that's what I want to see. But you know, like all, all literally, my teammates are complaining about uh, they can't see shit. They, you can't see anyone in front of them. You know, it's just just weird that they're playing in this environment, and it's ridiculous, right? But for some reason, somehow, I managed to go on another gun streak. Unfortunately, the game was about to end. I'll probably. If I were to try, I uh, would have got a second chem strike in this game. Now, I wasn't too sure if I was able to go for it. Now, if I were to carry on the streak at this very point, then I would have probably got it. Now, the funny thing is, I actually died. And I ended up dying on the streak around 14. Uh, around 14 gun streak, I got quick scoped, which was absolutely hilarious, where I just sort of laughed it off, you know, because I already knew I wasn't going to get it. I didn't have enough time, even though I was on a 14 gun streak, you know. And this guy, I literally got up this cliff and. On this huge map, this guy quick scopes me right in front of me, literally in a knifing distance. Not knifing distance, but a few yards away from a knifing distance. And I thought that was pretty, pretty hilarious because just considering, I mean, just thinking like all that time working, working hard on this gun streak, and next thing you know, you get punished with just a guy scoping down sights and quick scoping you, which is pretty weird because you know I, I snipe myself, and it's a weird thing to say. It's a weird contradicting point, but the, this game in general is just a. It's a joke, kind of a joke in a way. It's just like it's so weird, and it, it, do, it doesn't make sense to me. Let me know what you guys think. You know, that's a pretty dirty long shot right there. 
But uh, yeah, the second gun streak was I thought was more entertaining than the first gun streak in a way in which that I, I was just going balls deep. Didn't really care about my streak as much as my previous one. And that's the thing about this game, right? When you go in a streak, you you want to protect it more than the previous Call of Duties, right? It means more in this game because it's it's more effort and it's it's more risky. Uh, so it's sort of I guess. It means a lot more in a way when you you get that chem strike or that long gun streak because it's just you get punished way too much in this game way too easily but then again that that point itself contradicts again and again when it comes to boring ways boring this and that and when I see YouTube footage of people going for double or triple chem strikes it makes me cringe to the fact that they have to sit in one building to keep getting their picks, oh, no, that's a quick skirt right there of my 14 gun streak I believe. Yeah it makes me cringe to see that they sitting in one building for like the whole map not c trying to cap a flag one. And I, I, that's, that's true, you know, I, I didn't attempt to cap a flag at all throughout this game, that's pretty weird. And for some reason I got two caps, that's, that's kind of weird. I think at first I was, you know, that's, that's the sort of the mindset we have right as Call of Duty players. At first we try to play OBJ but after we focus on a gun skill, oh, sorry our gun streak more. But we did end up winning regardless, but um, yeah. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not a fan of chem strikes at all, guys. Uh, I just feel that it, it's, uh, I don't know, it just, they ask a lot more in this game for them. So you're forced to play passive uh, compared to a tactical nuke in Modern Warfare 2. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Let me know your thoughts of this game so far <laughs> from what you've played. Uh, I'm sure, you know, most of my viewers out there have stopped playing this game. Some people adapt into it. I've I've found my ways around it, I suppose. But that the ways that you find, you'll notice that it's way less exciting to play this game than the previous Call of Duties. That's that's the end conclusion for this commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave free to leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty content, let me know. If you don't want, if you want me to stop posting Call of Duty Ghost and you find it boring, then also let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys soon. Check your son out. Good night. Peace. Yeah.